I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the May 2021 International SAT Calculator section. College Board is asking about the y-intercept of a graph. We have y equals negative one-half x plus three. So a slope of negative one-half and an intercept at zero, three. And this is translated two units to the right they're asking for the new y-intercept. You can look at it as the new y-intercept has the same y-value as when x equals negative 2 on the original graph because when we translate this graph to the right by 2, the point at x equals negative 2 will move to x equals 0. So y equals negative 1 half times negative 2 plus 3, and negative 1 half times negative 2, negative times negative is positive, half 2 is 1, the y value is 4, and of course the y-intercept has an x of 0, so it's 0, 4, choice D. Alternatively, you can write the equation y equals negative 1 half. If you translate to the right by 2, you replace x with x plus 2. That's not true. You replace x with x minus 2. I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the May 2021 International SAT Calculator section. College Board is asking us to translate a graph and then find the new y-intercept. We have y equals negative one-half x plus three, so at x equals zero, y equals three. And then we translate to the right by two. So the point that was at x equals negative two moves to x equals zero, but with the same y value. So I can find the y value for the original when x equals negative two. Negative times negative is positive, half of 2 is 1, and the y value is 4. When you translate that to the right by 2, it goes from negative 2, 4 to 0, 4, and that is our new y-intercept. So the correct answer is choice D. Alternatively, I can write the equation for the translated line, y equals negative 1 half. If I replace x with x minus 2, that translates the graph to the right by 2, which is what they've told us to do. The y-intercept occurs when x is 0. And that's exactly the same computation. Again, I get y equals positive 4 and choice D. College Board often asks you about the x-intercept, y-intercept, or both for a line, and they often work with translations of graphs, so make sure you review each of those concepts and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.